Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. In this session, we are going to see about counter example in CX programmer. Before entering into the session, kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. So, this is the second example for the counter concept in CX programmer. So, let's read this. Three counters in the bank can totally allow only 10% per day. It should restrict the 11th person to enter the bank counter. Okay, so each counter having one PB, I mean push button to allow the person. So, on the whole, only 10, 10 person can enter into the counter of the bank. There is a bank and they have a three Q. Okay, don't confuse this counter with that counter. So, there is a three, let's rename that counter as Q. There is a three Q. Okay, so in the three Q, totally on the whole, only 10 persons can allow it. For example, the first uh, queue may have 3 person, second one may have 4 person and the third one should have 3 person. Like that, on the whole 10, 10 should be there. Okay. So, if the 11th person is trying to join me, it should restrict. We cannot allow that person to, you know, do the bank. I mean, uh, what purpose he came to the bank, he should not able to do because he is the 11th person. Only 10 person can allow per day. So, at least what they have given, yeah, each counter is having one PB to allow the person. Alright. So, let's see how to do that. So, let's create a new program. So, now how many inputs we are having? We are having 3 inputs. Okay. So, 3 inputs for 1, 3 counters. No, there are 3 queues and there should be a 3 push button. So, I am having the first counter push button. I am uh, naming that as Q1. Q1. Or, uh, we we'll rename this as Lion. I am having this Q1 and uh, and this is Q2 and I have one more Q which is Q3 okay fine so three three Q are there and three push buttons are there for example if uh, the first person is entering the second queue means he will press one uh, push button for the confirmation so that he his login or his entry is valid like that so for that only we are using the push button to you know to validate that you know the person who has uh, you know entered the counters before the 10 before uh, uh, the 11th person or valid valid uh, entry so for that i am having three queues over here and I am going to add a counter. So, what is the purpose of counter in this example? How come I get to know how many persons has entered the queue? Okay. So, for that only I want a reference. For that I am going to use a counter. Just a minute. So, they have given us 10. Right, so connect the instruction and counter, and we have one more input for the counter. No, so let's take one uh, input for resetting the counter.
we have to delete this Okay, so we have a reset here. So let's go online. Okay, so the first person is entering one push button is pressed. Okay, the second person is uh, entering in the second queue and that is also entry. The third person is entering. So each time, maybe the fourth person is also from the same queue. So next person, fifth person is also entering in the same queue. So now the second queue, one of the person is entering. Now the first queue is having one person. Now again the third queue is having one person. So now eight people has already gone. Now only place for two person. Now there is only space for only one person. Yeah, that's done. So the, the counter is reached the limit. Correct. The counter is on. So now how I am see if I am entering if someone is trying to enter what will happen see the entry is the entry is allowing to counter the counter has reached but still the entry is going till the counter correct so what we have to do we have to restrict the entry to the counter so for that you can add a bit here to restrict the counter so i'm adding the same counter bit as normally closed contact here so, what is the purpose of using like this? The entry will restrict it here itself. So, let's see now. See? The counter bit is on. No. So, this is on. So, this normally open con closed contact will become open now. Now, if the third, the person in the Q3 is trying to enter, it will not allow the person to enter. Anyhow, it will not disturb the counter, but still, it even enter, you know, near the counter. It will not able to reach the counter. It is restricted. So, with this counter bit, you can display that counter, I mean, the queue is filled or 10 people has already entered, login restricted, like that. You can generate one more output here, like a lamp indicator for counter full. That's, you can make it. Just type counter closed. Like that you can have a output. It's like an indication so that everyone is getting to know that there is no, you know, check-in hereafter. So, it's done for today. Like that you can display the lamp or a display, whatever it is. And so, until you reach that, what will happen? It will be on. So, if you get reset, it will get reset. If you press that, it will get reset and you can start from beginning. See now, the counter instruction, normally closed contact become the previous. I mean, how the normally closed contact like that, it happened now. Again, you can enter the, people can enter into the counter now. It started counting. So, this is how the example works. I hope you have understood this concept. I will meet you in the next session with another interesting topic. Kindly like and subscribe our YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you.